I'd like to see you try. What's going on? Like, I'm in a golf course. Hey, hey, what is going on here, huh? Oh, I was just a... Happy. Uh, I'm so glad to see you. I'm glad to see you too, Grandma. I've been thinking about you all the time. It's like everybody's having fun. I can't stand to live in this place about a minute. What are you talking about? I thought you liked it here. That orderly guy seems very nice. Don't you like him? Oh, I do. I do. For the tort of assault to occur, one person needs to intentionally put another in fear of some type of offensive or harmful touching. However, that threat needs to display some type of force. The person who's making a threat needs to be able to actually carry it out and it must be believable. So in our examples earlier, when the orderly threatened Happy's grandmother by pretending to point a gun to his head and doing the slice across his throat, we would have to figure out, was that a display of force? Was that orderly able to carry out those threats? And was it believable? In this picture here, I have a person who is pretending to bend the golf club. So if he was making a threat telling you that that's what he was going to do to you, um, would it be believable? Do you think that this man could carry that out? And would you find that offensive or harmful? So these are all questions you must ask yourself before filing a lawsuit for the tort of assault.